Today I've been tasked with the impossible. I don't even have faith in myself because this one is going to be a real killer for my wife. I've brought her around on a lot of dishes. When we first met, she knew how to make two things. Jack Serban Eats and Round Table Pizza. Takeout and delivery. Oh, shut up. Well, it's the truth. You didn't make a whole lot. And you've mm. eaten a lot of dishes and you've started to like them. Sloppy Joe's, though. Is mm. that your number one? Go ahead and speak your truth. Let's My talk number about... zero. Yeah, I don't know. It's just something with the 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 t- the t- 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 taste texture. I don't know. Well, we're gonna fix that. I think. I hope. I have faith. I'm gonna try and make a five star sloppy Joe, and I'm working out the texture because I'm gonna add some crunch to it for you. Okay. So we'll see. Like I said, I don't have a ton of faith, but if I can turn you around, I'm like an all star champion. <laughs> Um, looks like a whole lot. It really is not. I'm not going to go over everything right now. I've just measured out all my seasonings, my liquids. It Three simple steps, right? We got to make the beef and add all of the ingredients, like Joey would say. Mm-hmm. Um, for texture, I'm going to make some onion straws. Oh. So I'm going to fry up some onion straws. I like those. And then we're going to crisp up some brioche buns with a little bit of a Parmesan crust. Simple and easy. I think it's like 50-50 mayo and butter, and then I added a bunch of shred- or grated parmesan. So we'll go over ingredients as we go along, but let me clear off the space so we can get started because it's now six o'clock and I haven't eaten meals since yesterday. Well, Even good. though I look like I've been eating all day, I haven't, I swear <laughs> to God. So let's get started with the onions first because we want to get these babies soaking, marinating in uh, our buttermilk here. Um, really. Buttermilk only serves two purposes on this plant. I'm terrible. Mm-hmm. You know why I'm bad with onions? Because we don't like them. We don't cook them a lot. Bingo. Yeah, the only time I like onions is when it's fried. Um, so, yeah, it serves basically two purposes. One, it's going to slightly tenderize the onion, take some of that bite out of it. And two, obvious reason, is it's going to help the flour in here. I probably, unless I get like whole lot of flour to adhere and um, I might even double dip and make my fingers look like something yeah. like a whole. So that's that. The recipe that I'm making tonight because we're always feeding a village, I am making two-ish. Like probably maybe two, a little over two pounds. Of so that's that. So for the onions, I'm just going to start cutting these into thin rounds. And then pulling them apart. See, I told you. I'm gonna start crying. Yeah, I'm screwed. There's a trick, and I need a. I saw it on TikTok. Yeah, you have to wear a a freaking tapper. No, it's like you fight on like a match, like the other. Match. Like the other. Maybe I'll just smoke a cigar. The other end of a. Yeah, there's a trick. Whatever. I probably won't use all this. Yeah, that's a lot. But I'm gonna keep breaking this down and just kind of slowly. I might even pull them apart a little like that. Because I don't want just rounds. I don't want onion rings. Every time you make those, they're so good. I could just eat them with some ranch. My my eyes are hard. Yeah. Ooh. Screw it. Okay, let's hurry up. The worst part of it is, it's the first thing I'm doing. So the whole time I'm cooking, I'm going to be crying like a little girl at, what's that movie? Notebook? Mm-hmm. About a teaspoon of baking soda to my ground beef. Um, this is the tenderizer. This is our home ground beef. Okay. If you notice that the color isn't like that crazy bright pink that you get at the store, um, a couple reasons. One, because we don't put pink slime in our ground beef. But two, I actually looked it up today because it irritates me every time we vacuum seal our ground beef and you can see like little darker spots on it. Yeah. And I found out that it's because the color is controlled by pink when we the meat. And when you vacuum seal the beef, pulls the oxygen away from the meat and um, it grounds the meat. So perfectly fine to eat. Yeah. I, it, it just always does that. Every time it looks beautiful and bright red when I put it in. And then within like a day or two, I see little red spots and I'm like, God, it drives me crazy. But, no, but in the stuff. store you don't buy crap. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Yeah. But, I mean, this is still yeah, it's look- beautiful. All right, so yeah, we've we've tenderized this, and in a moment here, we're going to start cooking. I'm going to put in some chopped bell peppers. Remember, this is for two pounds of ground beef, 
So I've got a half of the red and a half of the green pepper chopped up. Um, I'm gonna sweat those down. This is normally where you would add diced onions in, but I don't have the need for that because we're putting onion straws over the top. So that's where onions are going in. And then over here in this pan, I've got uh, vegetable, no, yeah, vegetable oil. And I'm just bringing that up very, very slowly because I'm not ready for my onion straws yet. But I'm gonna get that as close to two, or sorry, 350 degrees as possible so that I don't burn them and I cook them. We've got these good and softened up. It's time to add in our ground beef. Use this. And all we wanna do is cook this through and chop it up as finely as we can, which super tool right here. If you don't have one, get one. I freaking love this thing. I think we paid like 13 bucks for it on Amazon. Yeah. There's about a hundred different ones of them you can choose from. Yeah, Bryce wants to get one. We got Kate and Sean one. Oh, maybe we'll get them one. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I love this thing. So let's get this cooked through and then we'll start talking about seasoning and all the other good stuff while that oil continues to heat up for our onion straws for a five star. The best wonderful, most delicious beef sandwich you have ever, no really, I mean, there's nothing about it that's five star, <laughs> but it's gonna be way better than a sandwich. It's pretty much broken down, it's fully cooked through. I'm gonna start adding in our seasonings. There's a little bit of fat rendered off in the meat, that's good, leave it. I would not strain this personally. So I've got right here about half a teaspoon of red pepper flake, that's just for some heat. And then of all of these four, teaspoon and a half. So black pepper and paprika, mostly for color. Paprika has next to the flavor. Salt and granulated garlic. And then I'm just gonna combine all of that and let it kind of cook off some of that seasoning and really get it into the meat before we move to the next step. And that's, it smells I mean, nice. there's not a whole lot to say at this point. We really need to just let this kind of cook. Up now, and I've got about four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So I'm just going to combine that in and let it cook down a little bit just to cook off that uh, raw flour taste. And then we'll get to our wet ingredients. I've got about 250 grams of tomato paste that I'm going to put in, and I'll actually show you so you can see. Um, I got the large can of tomato paste, which is 340 grams, and I used I don't know, somewhere around 70% of the can. So that's going in. Let me drop that. <laughs> and then I've got eh, slightly under a quarter of a cup ketchup. And then this is like maybe a 16 of yellow mustard. I know this looks and sounds crazy. It's right, trust me. And then about three and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. And then about an eighth of a cup of red wine vinegar. And then Worcestershire. This is about a quarter of a cup of Worcestershire. So we're going to combine all of that. It's going to take me a minute. You don't want to watch this. Now the final step actually is to add two cups of beef broth. And this is when I'm going to bring it to a nice simmer. I'm going to turn the temperature down. And while that cooks off, we get all the moisture out of it and we can really soften it. We can work on our onion straws. Our flour is already salted. And these have been soaking for about 20 minutes, maybe a little longer, would you say? Mm -hmm. I'm a good wet hand dryer. I'm going to put one hand as well. Can you read the double? Yeah. I mean, they're coming out pretty good. I might not. Oh, the sauce is popping. Like it's hot? Yep. It's hot. So we'll get all these through. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need to actually. I think they're doing pretty good. Might have to add a little flour. I'll get all these through. Toss them in some oil. That's gonna be that for this. This meal is almost done. All we gotta do is a bread after this. Awesome. Drop some onions. I think I just hit uh, 
It was a little below 350, actually. I think it was like 325. I'm just going to do these in a few batches. We had those in for about three minutes. They're going to brown a little bit after they come out, too. But they look perfect. Would you mind salting these for me? get the next batch going in just a minute. I think we have a total of like four batches to do. We're going to show every one of them. We're actually going to slow it down. <laughs> slow them up. The meat is real close to being finished. Just cooking it off this last little bit and we're going to get a nice fun crust of brioche buns. So I'm going to cook these low and slow. Give them a little bit of a press in the beginning. I'm going to get three of these going for now. Or two for now, but Three. Kirsten and little Andrew. I think this is going to be good. I think I might have you come around. Oh, she's smiling. If you can see behind the camera, she's like, you're full of shit. <laughs> Let's build these bad boys. So this guy does like sloppy joes. So compare it to the gross stuff from a kid. Let me know. That's the best sloppy joe I've ever had. No lie? No. Swear to God. Dig in, dog. Seriously. <laughs> Moving on to the sloppy joe hater. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Well, it's very hot and I'm a little nervous. Still a little nervous. Okay, here we go. The onion straws are delicious. Had a bunch of those. Oh. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let Is me... it also the best sloppy joe you ever had? You can still hate it and it could be the best one you ever had. Let me take one more bite. Way better than I thought. This is the best sloppy joe I've ever had in my life. And it's not bad. It's not bad. It's like, I, I think it's just, I'm just not a sloppy joe girl. Like. You're a sloppy Jeff girl? The, like the taste of the meat, the flavor, it's good. The straws are good. But this is this is this is good, honey. I I am gonna eat it. Guess who's sleeping on the couch? Jeff's turn. Yep. Second guilty pleasure in line to a chili cheese dog. He's gonna go. Oh. No, it's not a ho. Oh. What do you think? I think um. I might like it without the onion straws better. Try a bite of Drew's. It's damn good. But I think I'm going to take the onion straws off. All right. I like those on their own. Yeah. So don't put those on. 